a video from Prague welcoming us to DrupalCon Europe. Yay! Um, I'm here on the behalf of the Drupal Association. My name is Patti and uh, I'm the chair of the board of the Drupal Association. So we are, I was actually not supposed to be here now because we have Tim that was going to be with us today, but unfortunately he got sick and couldn't get over from all the way from Portland. He would be watching this live now, but I think it is a little bit early in Portland for him now. So, so Tim, if you are watching, hi. Um, yeah, so it's happening, right? How long have we been waiting? Too long. Too long, thank you. Um, we start normally by asking a couple of questions, and uh, we are a little bit curious to hear and see who is coming to their first DrupalCon. Stand up. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, welcome to your first DrupalCon. I was so scared at my first DrupalCon because I didn't know anyone. That was in Amsterdam a couple of years ago. But you will realize it very soon that we have a group of really great people here. And please, if you're coming to your second, third, or maybe your 12th DrupalCon, Dries, could it be? More than that? Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm meaning from the years. That times too, because we also have one in, in North America, and we also used to go to Asia at some point. And, but anyhow, make sure you talk to others, and most important, if you are coming again, make sure that you also interact with those who are coming for the first time. So, um, we are also very happy to be here in Europe because we speak a lot of languages. And you might be worried about that I have to speak another language that I'm used to. So, that's also okay. <laughs> because most of us do not have English as a first language. So, that means just go for it. Um, we normally call it in my company, we say just broken English, that's what we speak. So that can be the official language of the next three days. So don't worry about the language. Most important, um, welcome. And uh, we can maybe check a little bit from where you are too, right? So I come, in, I come from Iceland. And I think there's maybe five people here from Iceland. You're here, right? Yeah. OK. So we started at the top. <laughs> But we can check a little bit more. What about people from Germany? Who is here from Germany? OK. Very often, a lot of people from Germany. Spain? Yeah? OK. France? And you have to make noise too, right? Who is from Czech Republic? And thank you for hosting us. <laughs> So it's uh, one of the things that we did this year, which is different maybe from previous years, is that we are live streaming this now because not everyone can come. 
And therefore, we are all going to clap for our people in Ukraine that got free tickets to watch this now live because they can't be with us, all of them today. Some of them are here. Welcome to all of you. <laughs> but those who are watching it now, come on, send them a little bit of a... Yeah. yeah. Let's not forget, and, and we need to repeat the message too, that, that we are thinking of you. Um, and I hope that you're going to enjoy it also live. We have more than 1,000 people. I heard something around 1,200 people coming to DrupalCon this year. We have also a lot of people watching it uh, live online, and all of the sessions are going to be streamed, so it's going to be a lot of fun. But we start normally with a little bit of housekeeping. And I think we are going to get one video from Tim, who is now in Portland. But let's take a look. Welcome, everyone, to DrupalCon Prague. My name is Tim Lennon, the CTO of the Drupal Association. And I'm thrilled that the Drupal community can be back in person in Europe. We want to say a warm thank you to the city of Prague and the local Czech community for supporting this event. We couldn't do it without you. A few housekeeping items and highlights before we get started. First, elections for the Drupal Association Board are happening now. Voting opens on September 21st, so make sure your association membership is up to date. Secondly, save the date for DrupalCon North America. DrupalCon Pittsburgh will take place from the 5th to 8th of June, 2023. The call for speakers and applications for the Speaker Review Committee are open now. As a general reminder, there's a COVID-19 safety policy for this event. Unfortunately, we're still in a pandemic, and that means some people, including myself, cannot attend. And the rest of us need to take care of our community. Please follow the policy throughout the event. As always, the DrupalCon Code of Conduct is in effect throughout the event. If you have any concerns, you can find a Drupal Association staff member or email conduct at association.drupal.org. Now for the fun. We want to invite you to the opening reception tonight in the exhibit hall. It's a wonderful chance to celebrate our reunion with the community. We also hope you'll join us for contribution. Contribution is the heart and soul of Drupal, and you can be a part of it. General contribution is available all week in room C2. Mentored contribution is available on Friday. And there are three chances throughout the week to take the first time contributor workshop. I'd also like to highlight this week's keynotes, starting with the Drupal Core Initiative keynote, which will give you a progress report on the latest innovations coming to Drupal. Of course, it would not be a DrupalCon without a Dries note, where Dries will give a visionary update on the state of Drupal and the open web, as well as talk about how we're making innovation in Drupal easier. Wednesday afternoon, Tavi Kotka will be talking about the next big things for digital societies. And finally, Pavlina Luzenska will talk about growing your business with people at the center. Now I'd like to spend some time on thank yous. Firstly, I'd like to thank everyone who provided financial support through the Grants and Scholarships program. There are several people in attendance who could not be here without you. I also want to thank the volunteers who make DrupalCon possible. In particular, I'd like to thank the European Community Advisory Committee and thank our track chair leads, as well as our track team members. I'd also like to thank our incredible Drupal mentoring team, helping make innovation in Drupal possible. In addition, I'd like to thank our sponsors, including our diamond sponsors, Acquia, DropSolid, Pantheon, and Platform SH. I'd also like to thank our platinum sponsors, our gold sponsors, our silver sponsors, the module sponsors, media sponsors, and other sponsors for this event. And I want to make sure to thank our supporting partners as well. Drupal Association supporting partners fund programs that support the community throughout the year, including helping us keep Drupal.org and our GitLab servers online. 
If you're interested in learning more about the Supporting Partner Program, you can reach out to the Drupal Association. You can find us at our booth, or you can email partners at association.drupal.org to learn how your support can help support the Drupal community. I also must thank the team at Kuoni Tumlare. Kuoni Congress has been part of the Drupal community for years now, working closely with the community volunteers all year long to create the best event possible here in Europe. And last but not least, I must thank my colleagues of the Drupal Association. The Drupal Association is a staff and board made up of the most caring and committed people in Drupal. It's our mission to help the Drupal community thrive, and I know firsthand how much work and care they put into every moment. With that, I'll hand it back to the team on stage. Enjoy DrupalCon. Yeah. Um, so we've been doing this uh, pandemic version of a DrupalCon now for two years. And he showed a couple of photos of people uh, during the, the session he had now. And I think that we are here now live in person. So I think that we can actually get the people, the European Advisory Board, those who've been helping Kuoni to get everything set up for the day and the next days, the Kuoni team as well, and the track team leaders, come up here and join me on the stage, and then we can really say thank you to all of you. So these are the ones who have been working every single week with the Kuoni team to make this happen. So thank you. Thank you. OK. <laughs> so there is a little bit more that happened uh, during this, this time's DrupalCon, because we introduced so the Kuoni team, they told us that this is like the mascot of yeah. your country, right? No. Yeah. Ah, no yeah. It's a famous children oh. cartoon. <laughs> so he's called Kretek. And uh, we decided to go and take him on a tour around Europe to, to actually promote the event. And this guy here, he's actually been to all the cool Drupal camps in Europe. <laughs> he's been giving out free tickets. And there was a little bit of a pause between the end of June and to the, until today. And he was actually spending time with Imre's parents in Netherlands. <laughs> he was also hanging out in Switzerland with Amazi. Maybe there were actually two versions of him because we had a couple of <laughs> events happening at the same time. Um, so he's been traveling around and, of course, uh, giving out a lot of tickets. I hope some of you are here because you got a ticket from Kretek. It could be that there's going to be that this is going to start to be a tradition. Uh, we are going to talk about a little bit more about that in the wrap-up ceremony. But we decided to create a little video. The team of Kony put together a little video of Kretek and his journey in the past few months. So let's look at that.
lucky, lucky Kretek. <laughs> so I feel like actually Gabor, come come back, Gabor. You can't get out of this now. Um, we've been like doing this together for too long that you don't have to like go back down. Of course. Uh, so thank you to the amazing team that is helping us. So what about next? What about next year, Gabor? I don't know. Do you know something? I do know something. Yes. Oh, so when can we learn about that? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, I, I do know that there are people in this room that are probably from the country that we're going to next year. I mean, it's not that hard. <laughs> Should we tell them a little bit more or? Yeah, maybe in the closing ceremony. Okay, okay. And that's going to be like, don't go, like, you know, you're here. Uh, so that's going to be uh, in the closing ceremony on Thursday. We are going to tell you about our next destination. And hopefully we're going to introduce a new mascot yeah, for, the, for the event. So if you're organizing any type of a Drupal camp throughout the, until next year's this time of the year, not saying anything more, make sure you like talk to the team, the Kony team, and there's going to be also like some round tables because we need to make sure that this tradition continues. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, which we are just going to go a little bit into, you know, I'm not going to introduce the next keynote. And we have other people doing that. Simon and then there's a lot of people coming on stage. Yes. So there's gonna, we are going to start now officially, DrupalCon Europe. And we wish you all a lot of fun. And make sure that you go to all the sessions, you connect with all the people, and uh, enjoy the event. And maybe go and check out downtown Prague. It's excellent. Yeah, enjoy the DrupalCon. Yes. So thank you very much. And Simon from Akia, come on stage.